with me tonight is Danny Buchan. <laughs> hey, Mariana. And I wanted to wish everybody a Happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, we are off to a really great start. And Danny and I, were going to be talking about New Year's, New Year's resolutions. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> resolutions. <laughs> Where this conversation is. <laughs> I think the, the, the pitfall of having the idea of resolutions is that I think a lot of people get geared up and are waiting for the big beginning of the right. new year in order to make these big proclamations yes. about all the things that are going to magically just change overnight. Habits that are very ingrained and yes. old beliefs. And then very quickly they, um, they fail. And uh, I think it's heartbreaking because they... With all the best intentions, they as quickly as they make the resolutions, they, they break them. But you know, set up for failure. Set up for I, I, New Year's resolution. Yeah. Set up for failure. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think that they're so stressful because yeah. people, um, you know, if we would just not think about from the point of this is a new year and now. This minute, I have to mm -hmm. make everything I want in my life mm -hmm. happen just the way I want it. And they start coming up with all of these goals. Mm -hmm. And most of them are just really, they don't fit in one year frame of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's not even time for them. They don't feel mm -hmm. ready for it. Right. Well, here's, here's something that I do do with my clients. And I also do, my, do uh, for myself with my coach. Mm -hmm. I have a coach, too. <laughs> put so my money I. where my <laughs> mouth is, right? We put our money where our yes, mouth is. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and you should have your coach too. <laughs> everyone should have a coach, yes. And um, everyone needs one. It's just, I, I mean, I think it, it's those who want a coach that I think are, are, are onto something because yeah. they understand. I will never stop wanting to get coached and having a coach because it's, wonderful. it's a beautiful it's wonderful. experience. Yeah, it's so powerful. And there's always something new that Absolutely. we can get coached on. And, Absolutely. And when I reach a goal, then. There's something else that I want to do more of in another mm -hmm. area or with that area or ways I've discovered that uh, the, the last goal was not quite exactly mm -hmm. what I wanted to do. So I want to do something more, better, different that's uh, where yeah. I'm more fulfilled. But anyway, so I do something with my clients that's very effective and I do it myself. I'm glad you remember it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, which is... Um, it's a it's writing a letter it's writing a letter to a friend but it, for so in other words this year have your clients write a letter it's december mm -hmm. 2009 mm -hmm. and the year has already passed and they're writing a letter to a friend maybe somebody they haven't been in touch with for a while mm -hmm. write the letter and say it's like dear so and so wow 2009 what a year it's been and yeah what a con i it's like a great, that yeah it's great i like that and then Write everything mm. in the letter about as if you already accomplished all the things that you had wanted to do with the year. Because I think what most people do unsuccessfully or very successfully, they think about what they want to have happen mm -hmm. and then they don't make it happen and they don't know how to make it happen. And so in this way, you write the letter and then you start. What I do as their coach is they have forgotten about the letter, mm. but I haven't. And so I am secretly helping them live into everything they said they wanted to be, do, and have for the year. It becomes more real, I think, because if you look at it as if it's already happened, then you're looking at it from the perspective, oh, I've done it. You're not hoping and wishing. You're already creating. So if I've done it, then it must have been real. Yes. And doable. Yes, making it real. And exactly. And then what I do is when December comes around, they've already forgotten it. We've been... We've been having a great year together, accomplishing things mm -hmm. and um, meeting goals. But then I ask them if I, I want to read them something, and I just start reading it. And it's their letter, and it's unbelievable. It's so powerful. And when they see, so when do you read it, this letter again? In December of like, so, so last a year, year later. Yes, a year later, and I read them, and I can guarantee you, it's um, it's so powerful because. Uh, Is it depressing sometimes? No, Is not yet. <laughs> no depressing. I had a client who, amongst many things in her letter, she said 
that she had been dancing, that she'd gotten back to her modern and ballet dance classes because she'd once been a dancer, now she has a family. Yeah, I saw, I saw it on your website. Yeah. You're into dancing, too. Yes, that's I love very to cool. dance, too. And that's, that's actually coincidental that, uh, that she's a dancer. I do love to work with creative people. I do work with a lot of people who write and dance yeah. and, and act. Um, and they usually have other things going on in their lives. But I do, I like working with people who are passionate and about and interested in working with their creative sides of them. Right. That's really um, exciting to me. It is. So, right. So she was um, wanting to just basically get back connected to dance. Mm -hmm. But what she didn't know is that what happened from that process is that she started taking her dance classes because that was in her letter and we started um you know she started doing that following her dreams and her goals and what happened was is uh someone unexpectedly showed up from her old college days who's a choreographer in new york and uh invited her to audition for her dance performance she got the part wow and about two months ago uh performed i was invited to the performance so was the New York Times, so and the cool. New York Times wrote a dance review. Oh my God! On the front cover of the dance you must section, have been so, you must be such a proud I coach. Was a proud coach, and the picture of her dancing was the featured picture. Mm -mm. And, and neither of us could have dreamed that up, but it really came from her heartfelt desire to want to reconnect with a passion, but she didn't know exactly mm -hmm. how it looked. I agree with you, and I think that these times are a great opportunity yeah. for people to reflect and re, re assess what's really important to them because most people, when you're caught up in the daily grind, mm -hmm. you're going to, I think it's, it's our tendency, uh, that, that sabotaging part in ourselves, the tendency is to just take a, it's just like, ah, just settle for less. And at times mm -hmm. like these that shake it up, I think it's a great time to call ourselves forth and say, no, I will not settle for less. This is a great time to find out what do you really love to do? Like, what do you love to do? And really believe that, because life is so short, mm -hmm. and I think people really think that somehow they're going to get a second ticket on this ride. And as far as we know, there's no second ride. So now's the time to really do what you love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. I think that also, you know, some people might say that the temptation to take a job that you don't like mm -hmm. or keep the job that you don't mm -hmm. like is also higher. Right, and I also think that what happens is, is um, I've heard this said before, that if, if, if you're holding on to the train in the station that's not yours, then if you don't let it go, then it leaves no room for the, tr the, st the train that is your train. And I think a lot of times people want to just hold on to any train. Any train will do. And I think what that does is, um, you know... It's a great metaphor. keeps you from having what you really want. I think the main thing is when we do make choices, see, there's, it's never too late. Mm. So, Because then what a lot of people will do, if they start recognizing that they do this kind of stuff, they hold on to the wrong train and they won't let it go so that the right one can come mm. in, they'll just focus on, I held on to the wrong train, it's too late, it's too late. Right, and, what's too late? Yeah, and what's too late, what, exactly. Yeah. Every day is a new day for us to recreate how we want it to be. So it's like, okay, so what did I learn from holding on yeah. so tightly? Oh, maybe loosen my grip a little, you know? One, one little um, trick I have with my clients, and I just wrote about this in my newsletter. I have a coaching monthly newsletter. And what I wrote about was what kind of life messages. Well, by the way, if yeah. people, I'm sorry. <laughs> if people would like to subscribe to your newsletter, yes. it's, it's free, right? Yes, it's, it's free. It's free. Yes. How would they, would they be able to subscribe it's like coaching to that? Without, it's like coaching.